If you're interested in applying to the Illinois MCS program, this video will give you an overview on what courses are available and how to apply. The Illinois MCS has two specialization tracks that you can choose from. One is the standard MCS degree, which is formatted as a typical CS master's degree, and the other is the MSCS DS, which stands for MSCS Data Science. The MSCS DS, in its name suggests, is specifically interested in data science. The two tracks have some crossover in the courses you can select, but I'll cover more on that later. If you choose the MCS track, you need to complete four courses from breadth requirement focus areas. Those areas are artificial intelligence, database and information systems, graphics and human computer interaction, parallel computing, programming language and software engineering, scientific computing, and systems and networking. You then must complete three courses in the advanced 500 level course list. One caveat on the breadth courses is that you must pass the class with a letter grade of B minus or higher for it to be considered towards the breadth requirement. All other courses can be passed with a C or higher grade. The MCSDS is more streamlined, meaning there are only four breadth focus areas that you need to take at least one course on in each area. These areas are machine learning, data mining, data visualization, and cloud computing. Identically to the MCS track, you must pass three advanced 500 level courses to graduate, and the same passing grade requirement of B- on the breadth courses apply. Each course in the program is offered usually only once a year and is available either in the fall, spring, or summer semester. This means you'll need to be thoughtful in the way you lay out your course plan so you can take the courses you want in a sequence that lines up from semester to semester. Some quick notes worth mentioning. All the coursework in both the MCS and MCSDS are taken through Coursera. You will be logging into Coursera platform and watch lectures, take quizzes, and turn in assignments. The program also leverages platforms like Slack and CampusWire, they just moved away from Piazza, for course and peer communications. You can transfer up to 12 credit hours, which is three courses, into the program if it's approved by the Department of Computer Science. Next, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of each course available in each track. I'll put the links in the description for you to go directly to the pages if you want more details. You can click on each course link and get a sample syllabus, which will tell you about the course objectives and requirements. All right, so first we're gonna look at the MCS general track courses. Uh, so just quick scrolling through, you, here you can see all the breadth requirements and the courses in each bucket. And then next you have the advanced coursework. Um, so these are the 500 level courses. And then there's just one general elective that you can take that can fit into the program. Um, and then here's some additional requirements that I was talking about earlier. Okay, next, so we're gonna look at the MCS DS courses. So here you can see the four buckets for the breadth requirements, machine learning, data mining, data visualization, and cloud computing, and all the courses associated. And then next you have the same advanced coursework buckets that has the same, pretty much the exact same courses as the regular MCS. And then there are a couple electives, more electives than that were in the MCS but the same requirements apply. As you can see, the courses are the same for the most part, but the MCSDS has a tighter focus and makes you select courses more applicable to data science. While the MCS still has data science options, you have more flexibility in your selections. My quick two cents on the curriculum of the MCS, if you're considering applying, is to make sure that it meets your learning goals. The course availability to me is the most important factor when considering looking at the programs you wanna to apply to. If you're looking for a data science focused courses, the MCSDS has you covered, and I believe the majority of the students in the program fall into the data science bucket, so you can't go wrong there. The MCS might be lacking in some core software engineering and programming principles, and there could be better programs available for you. Okay, enough talk about courses, let's hit on the missions process for the Illinois MCS. First, let's talk about the requirements. To get accepted into the program, the primary requirement is to have a four-year bachelor's degree it is recommended that the applicant's undergraduate GPA was 3.2 out of 4 or higher and has completed coursework in object-oriented programming, data structures and algorithms, linear algebra, and statistics. If you do not meet the coursework requirements, you can take a data structures proficiency exam or take four credit college courses that, that cover your missing skills. The GRE is not required to apply to the program though. As for the application itself, you'll need to provide personal information academic history, resume, career objectives, and background essay, and finally, a statement of purpose. Letters of recommendation are required but are useful to justify experience to cover for missing coursework. The Illinois MCS is a selective program and will only accept applications that show the potential to succeed with graduate level CS courses. If you're missing some of the required skills, you may need to wait months or even up to a year to catch up on missing requirements 
before getting accepted. I had to wait an additional four months to take and pass the data structures proficiency exam to start the program. The MCS has three application deadlines throughout the year. May 30th for the fall cohort, October 15th for the spring cohort, and February 15th for the summer cohort. The department recommends that you have your application submitted one month before the deadline to allow for expedited admission decisions. In my opinion, the admission process was very easy and well contained within their online application system. Everything was laid out well, and the department does a good job through webinars and email support to answer any questions you may have when going through the process. As I mentioned earlier, I was missing the data structures and algorithms coursework, so if you're missing some prereqs, be prepared to spend some time and effort getting your application ready for acceptance. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling in an online CS Mastery program, check out my short playlist on the process. See you in there.